A year or so ago, I made a video on how to make FaceTime calls, and that video has done really well and helped a lot of people connect using FaceTime. Today's short video is all about creating a one-click FaceTime shortcut. And if you're not familiar with the Shortcuts app, I've included a link in the description below to a video I made on how to get started with shortcuts. So please don't click away just yet. I know the Shortcuts app can be a little bit intimidating, but what I'm gonna show you today is really not that hard. And once you're finished setting it up, you'll use it all the time. No more having to click around in contacts and find the FaceTime icon and all of that kind of stuff just to make a FaceTime call. Honestly, this really isn't all that hard. And once you've made one shortcut, you can just duplicate it as many times as you like. And not only that, you can put the shortcuts on your iPhone home screen and make FaceTime calls with just a tap. Seriously, if you want to make FaceTime calls as simple as possible, stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich and I concentrate on making easy to follow videos for seniors and beginners on how to use their iPhone and iPad. And these tips are not only easy to follow, but really useful too, like today's video. And if this sounds like something you might be interested in, please consider subscribing by tapping the little subscribe button below this video. All right, let's jump into it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a FaceTime shortcut, how to rename it and add it to your home screen, how to duplicate the shortcut and change who you're calling, how to create a folder on your home screen and place your shortcuts in it. All right, let's roll. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is just how to create the basic shortcut. So first thing you do is you tap on the Shortcuts app icon. And by the way, if you don't have the Shortcuts app on your phone, you can download it from the App Store. Again, there's a video in the description below that'll show you how to do that. All right, the first thing we do is we just tap on the Shortcuts icon. And we're gonna tap on the plus to create a new icon. And we're not gonna add an action, we're gonna search for an action. So I'm gonna type, tap in the little search field. And I'm gonna type in FaceTime. And it comes up right there and I'm gonna tap on it. And I'm gonna add a plus. And now I've got it in here and the only question is who do I call? So now I'm gonna tap on the little field that says contact and I'll type in Lindsay and I'll click done. And now I've got the FaceTime shortcut here, but I'm gonna edit it. So I'm gonna tap on the three buttons and I'm gonna go up here where it says FaceTime. And I'm gonna tap on that and I'm gonna click rename. I'm gonna name this one Lindsay. I'll click done. And then I'm gonna tap on the little icon and I'm gonna change that to the camera signal so it, it kind of looks like the FaceTime icon and I'll change it to green and I'm gonna click done. And now I'm going to add this to the home screen. So I go down to the share button at the bottom little square with the arrow coming out, tap on that and I go to add to home screen. Click Add and Done. And now when I go back to my home screen, I have a one tap FaceTime button to call Lindsay. Okay, now we're just going to duplicate this FaceTime shortcut. We tap on it and hold and click Duplicate. And now it's duplicated over here. And if you tap on these little three, but three dots, we can edit it. So I'm gonna edit who I call and this time I'll make it Rhonda. And I'm going to rename it. And this time I'll name it Rhonda. And I'm gonna add that to the home screen also. Add to home screen, add and done. And now when we go back, we've got two FaceTime shortcuts already on the home screen. And I'm just gonna quickly duplicate that and make one more. I'll go back to the Shortcuts app. I'll hold on Rhonda. 
I'll click duplicate. I'll go here and tap the little three dots and I'm going to call my mom and I'm going to rename it one more time mom and I'm going to share it to the home screen click add and done and now I've got three FaceTime folks that I tend to call sort of regularly. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put them in a folder. So I'm going to tap and hold my home screen. I'm just going to slide mom on top of Rhonda. And I'm going to type Lindsay in there. And I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to rename it FaceTime. Done. And now I've created three quick FaceTime shortcuts. And now if I want to make a FaceTime call, all I have to do is tap on it, tap on Rhonda, and there we go. Hey. Hi. Just testing it out. Thanks for answering the call. Okay. All right. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. And that's all there is to it. And you can put as many of those in that little folder that you want. You just create it one time, duplicate it, change who you're calling, and you're good to go. I really think this is one of those shortcuts that's worth the investment of time to make. It's not that hard, and the results are just so handy. All right, I hope this little tutorial helps you make FaceTime calls the easy way. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.